So today we are going to work on experiment 13. We are uh, working with a dye. The dye is allura red, and the concentration of the allura red is written on this bottle here, but also is written on your lab manual. And what we're doing is we are uh, using a spectrophotometer to determine spectrophotometer. There is a pH here. I wrote it again. <laughs> In Italian. Okay, you tell me why. Yes, okay. All right, so today we are going to work on experiment 13. We are determining the concentration of a, a, a dye, a food dye, a lure red. We're going to call it AR, using spectrophotometry. The allura red is uh, this solution here. You find that in your hood. The concentration is written here for the allura red, but it's also reported in your lab manual. And what we are going to do is uh, we are creating a calibration curve with uh, a known solution, a solution of known concentration of allura red. And then we are going to determine the concentration by extrapolation, uh, intrapolation of uh, um, uh, 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 two unknowns that I'm going to assign you. So let's uh, see the procedure. We are going to clean four 100 milliliter volumetric flasks and one burette. So uh, we usually clean with water and the ionized water. Once we've done that, we're going to um, condition the burette in the way we learn many times for the titration with the, the uh, allura red. This uh, solution will let it go through the tip then close it and then rotate so that the allura red collect all the drops of water that we have in that burette. Once you have done that, we're going to fill the burette with approximately 20 to 25 milliliters of allura red. Let's not use more than that because uh, uh, it's not necessary, it will be the, a waste. And then uh, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to dispense in the four volumetric flask that have been cleaned with the ionized water, eight milliliters, six milliliters, four milliliters, and two milliliters of allura red. And then what you're going to do, so you add these amounts exactly using the four significant figures for your burette, okay? So you have to be, it's going to be eight point, and then the, the whatever number you're reading. You have to have uh, two significant figures un, af, after the decimal point. Okay, so three significant figures total. And then you're going to add to each volumetric flask the ionized water to the mark. We learn how to do that, right? We point our eye to the meniscus, to the line, and we have to have the meniscus of our solution, the bottom part of our meniscus touching the, um, our uh, line. Remember, in order to do this, we're going to use a plastic pipettes so that the solution is, we are going to add the last few drops to reach the, the line, in a very accurate way. Uh, once the solution are ready, you are going to mix them, tilting them up and down, um, about 10 times, so that the solution is uh, homogeneous and has the same concentration throughout. Once you obtain the four solutions, and here are the solutions, the one with eight milliliter, six, four, and two. So you see that they, are, they have a different color. The color becomes more intense as you go from one solution to the other one, okay? You're going to use uh, the spectrum of photometer to determine, to prepare your calibration curve. So let's see how we are going to do that. Um, 
So you, uh, the first thing that you're going to do is uh, you're going to use the eight milliliter solution, the one in which you put eight milliliter rural red, to uh, determine the absorbance of the solution between 460 and 600 nanometers wavelength. So we start, let's see how we do that. So let me get set up here. Let me place my solution here. I don't need this actually. Let me fill this one with the uh, yeah, nice water. So now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to prepare our solutions. We take, we set up uh, our machine at 460 nanometers. So here it is. I go down. Here is, uh, you see nanometers, you keep going down until you reach 460. Oops, I'm going up, my bad, excuse me. So you're going down until you reach 460. Or up, in this case. And uh, you fill up uh, your cuvette, a cuvette with deionized water. So rinse it first because somebody else might have used it. Rinse it a couple times with the deionized water and then you fill it up with the deionized water. Clean the side because the grease of your hands, of the dirt in your gloves might affect the reading. point the clear side, you see that there are uh, a, an opaque side and a clear side, you point the clear side towards the laser as this and you zero your system. Once you have done this you take a, a dry cuvette. If you don't find it dry don't worry because what you're going to do is uh, you're going to condition also your cuvette with the highest concentrated solution. So let's do this. Let's take the highest concentrated solution, fill it up with uh, the eight milliliter solution that we already mixed, rinse it, so that you know that you don't, uh, the solution that you're pouring is uh, eight milliliters, the solution corresponding to the eight milliliters Allura Red. Then you take another pipette, you fill it up with the, the Allura Red. as this and then you start to measure the absorbance starting at 460 so we already zero the system we put the cuvette and we measure the absorbance okay and then what you do is uh, you alternate the blank and the cuvette that the cor contains the solution corresponding to eight milliliters of uh, uh, Allura Red. You alternate them 
by uh, uh, um, in measuring the absorbance with increments of 10 nanometers at increments of 10 nanometers so we zero again we zero again and then we measure the concentration of our solution at that value and you keep going all the way alternating the blank and the solution until you reach 600 nanometers now you will see that your solution will start to increase in absorbance so as the wavelength increases the absorbance increase, reach a maximum, and then decrease again. This is going to be your lambda max, okay? Which is the wavelength at which you measure the max absorbance. Okay? Once you find what is the lambda max to which correspond the highest absorbance, then you measure the absorbance and the value of lambda that is 5 nanometer less and then 5 nanometer more and you pinpoint which one is the perfect absorbance that you need for your measurements once you set up the lambda mass in your instrument you measure the absorbance for the solution then you prepared the other three solutions here the one at two milli with two milliliter lunar red, the one at four milliliter lunar red, and the one at six milliliter lunar red. The one at eight milliliter, you already use for the calibration, so you don't need to do it. You prepare a table using this equation, M1B1 equal M2B2, to determine the concentration of the lunar red corresponding to each of this solution, including the eight milliliters, okay? Then, what you're going to do as a last step is that you measure the absorbance of two unknown that I'm going to assign you, okay? They're here. And you will obtain by interpolation the concentration of the two unknown. Let's see how we do the calculation. So, first we figure out using M1V1 equal M2V2 the concentration of each solution. So, M1 is the measurement of the concentration of lunar red that you find either in the bottle or in the manual. V1 are the milliliters, in milliliters, the milliliters of a solution that you took from the bottle. So two, four, six, and eight milliliters. V2 is the final volume at which you did dilute your solution. So it's always 100 milliliters. Using M2, which is what we want to find, equal M1V1 over V2, where V2 is 100 milliliters. M1 is from the lab manual. MV1 is once two, then four, then six, then eight milliliters. You find a curve in which you have the concentration of the lunar red in the four containers versus the absorbance. You will create a best fit, okay, a line, and then when you measure this concentrate, the absorbance of the two assigned unknown solution, you will obtain from the absorbance, let's see that one is here, for example, and one is here, okay, well, it cannot be here, has to be here. Okay? From these values here, one and two, 
you will obtain the new concentration of the unknown one and unknown two. So, and how are you going to do this? The absorbance is equal to the constant times the, 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 the length of the cuvette, there is always one centimeter, times the concentration. So you will find C1, C unknown 1, and C unknown, unknown 2 by dividing absorbance times E and D for both of them. Okay? And this is the Lambert and Beer law that is uh, discussed in your uh, lab manual. Once you find the two concentration, you're done. Any question about this? This is for experiment 13, and this is the lower red dye we're going to be using. So record the molarity to the correct number of significant figures. This is for experiment 13 and we're going to be making a dilution of uh, Allura Red. We're going to be using 8 milliliters of the Allura Red using, and measure it with the burette into the 100 volumetric uh, flask. After we've added it, we're going to add some deionized water to the, uh, to the 100 milliliter mark. Okay, so I'm just going to add it. So now that we've added, we're going to use the DNS water to get any remaining drops. Okay. Now with the 8 milliliters added, we're going to add DNS water until the volumetric flask is filled. Now that we've added some, we're going to use a pipette or a straw so we can get the fine last drops in. Stopper, secure it tightly, okay. and then we're going to mix the solution ten times. And that is our 8 milliliter diluted Allura Red. So this is a 8 milliliter diluted uh, Allura Red, so we're going to continue this process for 
the other three dilutions of 6 milliliters, 4 milliliters, and 12 milliliters of a lower red. So now that we've had all the dilutions ready, we're going to be using the 8 milliliter uh, concentration dilution. Oh no, let, let me... Oh, I'm okay. oh, sorry. So now that we have all the dilutions ready, we're going to be using the uh, dilution with 8 milliliters of the Allura Red, or we're going to be placing it into the cuvette. Now we're going to be using a Kim White to clean the sides. Okay. Put this down. So I filled a cuvette with uh, deionized water and we're going to be setting the machine. Now at 460 uh, nanometers, we're going to place the cuvette with the concentration inside. Okay. Now record the absorbance measured by the machine. Okay. So the correct number is significant figures. Now we're going to be going Uh, we're going to be going to, we're going to go in 10 minute, uh, uh, not 10 minute, we're going to be going in 10 nanometer intervals all the way to 600. Okay. Well, in between each uh, reading, we're going to be using the deionized water to blank the machine. Or do you just want to record and then right after I read it, you go and write it? Okay. Okay. This is 470. Okay. So we're going to go up. Blank. For 80, it's 0 0.691. Four ninety zero point eight two two. Five hundred zero point eight eight eight.
We have Five thirty zero point seven six three. Five forty zero point six four seven. Fifty zero point four six seven. Okay, five sixty zero point two six four. Five seventy zero point one two seven. Is that five seven? Five eighty? Okay. Yep. So blank. Oh. I just did five seventy, right? You already have five. Okay, so I just I flipped it. <laughs> I was supposed to put this. You have to cut that. I mean the uh, the part out. Yeah. So, so I have to put this first and then to five eighty? Yeah, it's at five eighty now. I just have to Answer. Okay, 
Okay, 600 is 0 0.009. So based on the readings, uh, we know that 500 is the highest absorbent. So we're going to go in intervals of 5 uh, above and below 500 to see the actual highest absorbent. So 505 is 0 0.877. Zero point eight five two. So five hundred is the highest. So now that we know that the maximum absorbance is at five hundred nanometers, we're gonna check for the other dilutions. So this is the six milliliter dilution, um, and this is the absorbance recorded to the appropriate number, of significant figures. at the four milliliter dilution. This is the two milliliter dilution. Should I say now use these points to make your graph? Mm -hmm. Okay. And unknown? Oh, the unknown is unrelated. Okay, fine. Uh, so now use all these uh, points to make your graph. To now use all now now use these now use this data to make your graph. Now use all this data to make your beer laws plot. This is the first unknown we're going to be using. So record its number. I've already blanked with a with the ionized water. So a bit. Now record the absorbance of the unknown at five hundred nanometers. This is the second unknown we're going to be using, so record its number. Got it.
for the second unknown's uh, absorbance at 500 nanometers. 